as a breaking Oh, I'm in love with Jesus In my favor Yes, Lord There's a shifting My God, my God In my direction Come on, saints There's a breaking In my favor As I break Come on and sing it with me there's a breaking Lord I'm in love with you this morning In my favor Glory to God There's a shifting In my direction There's a breaking In my favor as I praise, I want to sing it to you this morning. There's a breaking, my God, my God. Listen, in your favor, I don't care what it looks like, it's breaking. And there's a shifting, glory to God, in your direction. Ha, praise Him. There's a breaking. In your favor as you praise. Come on and lift your hands to heaven and sing it. There's a breaking. I'm in love with Jesus. In your favor. God is working it out. And there's a shifting. My God. In your direction. There's a breaking in your favor as you praise. Come on and sing it with me. There's a breaking. Lord, do it, Jesus. In your favor. There's a shifting. There's a shifting. Come on. In your direction. There's a breaking in your favor as you praise. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, minister to your people on this morning. God, you are our shepherd on this morning. And as we go into the word of God, I pray that the Holy Ghost would take the word of God and bring it alive to your people. Let them see Jesus as the Good Shepherd in Psalms this morning. Minister to us, encourage us, lift burdens from off of our shoulders. Every concern, every worry, every fear, every anxiety, everything that troubles us, bring peace to us this morning. Give us a breakthrough from the Word. In the name of Jesus Christ, somebody say a good amen right there. Listen, I want to take you into the book of Psalms, chapter 23. One of me and my wife's favorite Psalms. My God, my God. I believe this is just about everybody in the body of Christ. I believe this is their favorite Psalm. Amen. And this is written by David. Who better to write it than an anointed shepherd himself? Listen to what David said. I love the personal pronouns he used. The Lord is my shepherd i shall not want do you see how personalized that is david had a relationship with the shepherd the master the savior the redeemer the king of all kings the lord of all lords david said the lord is my shepherd i shall not want david was able to say this from out of his own personal experience as being a shepherd in Israel. David led a little flock. Glory to God. David knew what it was. He knew it was his responsibility to feed the sheep. It was not their responsibility. They didn't know where grain pastures was. 
That was the responsibility of the shepherd. It was the responsibility of the shepherd to take him the clean drinking water. It was the responsibility of the shepherd to protect his sheep from wild wolves, wolves, wild bears. Are you listening to me? The lions that would try to come. And remember how God had anointed David and David rehearsed the story before King Saul and said a lion came at one time and another time a bear came, but I caught him by his bed and I slay it. I smote him. And David said the same God that delivered me from the lion and the bear is going to deliver this uncircumcised Philistine into my hands. So when David looked at the life of a shepherd himself, David got a revelation that that is exactly who Jesus was to him. That is exactly who the God of Israel was to David. So David having this revelation said, because the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That means he knew that God would make a way where there seems to be no way. The apostle Paul echoed this in the New Testament and said in Philippians 4, 19, but my God, see the personal pronoun, but my God, personal ownership, personal relationship with the Lord, but my God shall supply. There's no ands, if maybes and hope so's about it. He is speaking confidently. He said, my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches in glory. Remember, look at what God did when the children of Israel was in the wilderness. They didn't have a supermarket, but God rained down manna from heaven, fed them with angels' food, and then God sent the quails so they could have fresh meat. You talk about a supernatural God. You are not out of your mind. You are not crazy to believe God for a miracle. You are not crazy to believe God for a breakthrough. You are not crazy to believe that God can cancel your debts and make a way where there seems to be no way. He is a miracle working God. Jesus said, if you have faith, the size of a grain of mustard seed, you shall say to this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the midst of the sea. And Jesus said, if you don't doubt in your heart, but believe what you say shall come to pass. Jesus said, you will have whatever you say. And then he said, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Glory to God. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He takes me to the place where there is supernatural provision. Even if provision is not there, if I obey his voice, in the case of Elijah, God will send the ravens to feed me. God will send the angels to come and cook food for me. That's the kind of God I serve. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. And if he lead me to a place like the apostles caught up in a storm, he would rise up and say, peace, be still. And there was a great calm. He will make the waters calm. Glory to God. He restores my soul. Joel, the book of Joel says, he will restore unto you the years that the caterpillar and the canker worm has taken away from you. David know what it is to suffer great loss and he know what it is for God to help him recover absolutely all. That story is found in 1 Samuel chapter 30. David said, he restores my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake, God's integrity is on the line. Yea, though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Glory to God. You ain't got to be afraid of nothing. Why? Because God is with you. My God, what about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace? The Lord showed up because he said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you, but I'll be with you even on to the end of this world. How about Daniel in the lion's den? The angel of the Lord showed up and shut the mouths 
of the lions that they could not hurt Daniel. Shout, God is with me. My God, give him a praise right there. Hallelujah. So David said, Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. Glory to God. Right in the presence of your enemies, God is setting you up for a miracle, for a breakthrough, for a turnaround. Then he releases a fresh anointing of the Holy Ghost on you and your cup will run over with the blessings of Almighty God. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over shall men give into your bosom. The Bible says when a man's ways please God, he will make even his enemies to be at peace with him. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Not some of the days, all of the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. And I got to read this. Psalm chapter 107 verse 9. For he satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry with goodness. God is about to give you the desires of your heart. The Lord is my shepherd, my God. There's a breaking. There's a breaking. Come on. Come on. In my favor. Lord, I love you this morning. And there's a shifting. Shifting, Lord, in my direction. Sing it again. There's a breaking in my favor as I pray. Sing it again. There's a breaking. There's a breaking, my God, in my favor. There's a shifting. There's a shifting. In my direction, there's a breaking in my favor as I praise. Listen here, saints, we want to give you an opportunity to support the gospel that we preach. This is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. To support this great work of God, you can visit us online right now, seanpinder.net forward slash give, seanpinder.net forward slash give, sow a seed, give an offering, give a donation. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinderministries, paypal.me forward slash seanpinderministries. You can also mail in your donations. Just make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 117442, Carrollton, Texas 75011-7442. There's a breaking, sing it. There's a breaking. I want to sing it to you right now. Listen. It's in your favor. Oh, God's getting ready to turn it around. There's a shifting. Oh, it's coming in your direction. In your direction. My God. There's a breaking in your favor as you pray. There's a breaking. There's a breaking. My God, lift your hands to heaven in your favor. Oh, and there's a breaking and there's a shifting. My God, in your direction. There's a breaking in your favor as you pray. Listen here, saints. Never forget this. We love you. We appreciate you. We don't take you for granted. That's coming from me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy Pinder. We look forward 
to being with you on tomorrow on another morning prayer broadcast. God bless you and walk in God's favor. We love you. Take care now. Bye-bye.